Hello, buddy. Konnichiwa. I meant konnichiwa. It's good that there are subtitles here because in Japanese I only know ramen, Naruto, Suzuki, and Toyota. Wait, what? I think it looks like some kind of super economy class carriage. Some kind of can fell here. Oh no, what is this? God! Wait, what? I think you're a little... How can I say this? Out of the picture. Everything here also looks as normal as possible. Oh. Except that. Oh. To find out what's in my room, you need to like and subscribe. Come on, I'm waiting. Well, three, two, one. <laughs> There's a puking Pomni here today! Hello everyone, friends, and today we will be walking along a creepy train with anomalies. Oh my god, is this horror? Just don't tell me that, now I'll be scared. Are you really still afraid of horror games? Don't be such a timid cane. Okay, we now need to go to the next train carriage. I think it's pretty safe here. It seems to me that it would be logical to stay in a safer place. Okay, we got into the carriage. This is car number seven. Let's move on, but before that, Let's explore this entire carriage in its entirety! Well, everything in this carriage looks pretty normal. The simplest chairs, windows, and our train is going somewhere. Oh look! There is some guy here and next to him is a girl. Okay. There was nothing scary in this carriage and let's move on to the next carriage. It doesn't look like a horror game yet. Well, let's now go to the safe place and move on. Why are we even walking on this train? Car number seven again? We were just in exactly the same carriage. We haven't turned anywhere and are just going straight. This car looks absolutely the same as the previous one. This is the same boy. Hello, buddy. Konnichiwa. I meant konnichiwa. It's good that there are subtitles here because in Japanese I only know ramen, Naruto, Suzuki, and Toyota. Wait, Kane, this guy is telling us something he asks. Are we also looped? Now he will tell us the rules of the game. He asks us if we know the rules of the game? Of course not, buddy. Tell us what we need to do next. Okay! He tells us that if we see something strange on the train, we need to turn around. And if we want to complete the game, we need to go into the zero car and hit the brakes. In short, everything is clear. If we see something strange, we turn around. If everything on the train is the same as we saw before, we just move on. The rules are simple and let's go forward. The main thing is to remember the numbers of the cars in which we travel. This is car number seven. You need to study what a normal carriage looks like. Everything seems clear. Let's go forward. Is this also car number seven? But it looks quite strange. But let's explore it. There's a guy sitting here. It seems to me, or we haven't seen him before. And I think there is nothing abnormal about this guy. He just goes to work somewhere and sleeps. Let's get to our friend. Wait, do you hear that sound? Is it just me, or is there something leaking on the train? But where? There's a hole right in the window. Wait, are we on an underwater train? Where does the water come from, and why is it flowing from the window? I think this is definitely an anomaly. We need to turn around and run. Oh no, the window is completely broken. Now our carriage is filling with water. We urgently need to escape from this carriage. Okay, he'll just continue to sink and we need to turn around and go to another car. Well, we encountered the first anomaly and it was not as scary as I thought. Now let's go to the next car and this is car number six. I think this is definitely the car number we need to go to. This guy is sitting here again. This number blinks strangely. Can this be considered an anomaly? I think this is just a very common bug. Okay, it looks like an ordinary carriage, and let's move on to the next one. I hope that we will move to the right carriage. Yes, this is car number five. This means that we are on the right track. But we need to very carefully examine this carriage for anomalies. Okay, this guy is sitting in his seat, and there seems to be nothing strange in this carriage anymore. In this carriage, absolutely everything looks exactly the same as in an ordinary carriage. The only thing is that this guy disappeared somewhere. But I think he probably just went to the bathroom or something. Okay, this was the fifth carriage. There is nothing unusual here, and we move on to the next one. Maybe we can beat this game the first time? And we are in carriage number four. It looks like we are really on the right track. It seems to me that we need to be more and more attentive with each carriage. Otherwise, we may miss some really important detail. Crap! This is car number seven. This means that we missed something in the previous carriage. Wait, what? I think it looks like some kind of super economy class carriage. I think you don't need to be an idiot to understand that this is definitely an anomaly and we need to turn around and go to the next car. Interesting. What would happen if we walked to the end of this carriage? But I think it's better that we don't find out so that Kane doesn't have a stroke. Okay, we are in the fifth carriage and it seems to me that we are definitely on the right track. Now we need to be very careful so that we don't end up in the seventh carriage again. So the fourth carriage, 
Everything seems to be as calm as possible here. Third carriage! Okay, let's show maximum attention. But here, everything also seems as ordinary as possible. And so, the second carriage. Okay, we are already very close to the zero car. Is this game really a horror game? Nothing bad is happening here. Absolutely. And now we are in the first carriage. I think the door opened too quickly. Here, you need to be as careful as possible. We are just one step away from the final carriage. Some kind of can fell here? Oh no, what is this? God, who are you? This woman scares me very much. Why is she running all over the car? Oh my God, she's running towards us again. Why does she run so fast? Wait, I'm a little confused. We turned around several times and I don't understand where we need to go. It was definitely an anomaly. Maybe we should turn around and go back. Okay, let's go here. I really hope that this game won't take us back to the seventh carriage. Seriously? Lord, we were just one step away from reaching the zero car. Why did this woman run out so quickly? Okay, now we're in the sixth car, and now I really hope that we won't encounter any anomalies because last time I almost pooped in my pants. Wait, what? Um, Mrs. I think you're a little... How can I say this? Out of the picture. Maybe you shouldn't be here. Although it seems to me that most likely we shouldn't be here. This definitely looks like an anomaly, and I'm sure we need to go back to another carriage. This woman looks pretty creepy. Okay, now we find ourselves in the fifth carriage. Well, I'm already getting quite scared looking at the neighboring seats, because this game is getting scarier and scarier with each carriage for me. Oh no! The seventh carriage again! Lord, we're stuck on this train forever! It seems to me that you need to overcome your fear and look at every chair in this game, because there may be some kind of anomaly on each chair. Okay. Everything in this carriage also seems as ordinary as possible. Wait, what? Why did it suddenly become dark? We definitely need to turn around and escape from this carriage as soon as possible. Okay, the last car was number six. And now I think we should be in car number five. Yes, it is. Cool. Let's explore this car as thoroughly as possible. Everything here also looks as normal as possible. Oh, except that. It seems to me that we picked up illegal passengers who were caught on our train. I am 100% sure that this is an anomaly and we should turn around and run to another car. The next car must be number four. Yes, it is. Cool, we only have a few cars left to go to car number zero. And we are in the third carriage. So, okay. I am extremely concentrated. Wait, it seems to me that these items shouldn't be here. It doesn't look like it did in previous carriages, although it looks extremely tasty. I definitely wouldn't eat this, and I definitely wouldn't stay on this train. Someone broke the backs of these chairs, and it seems to me that this someone can break our backs too. Okay, don't worry. We're turning around, and now we should be in car number two. Yes, it is. Okay, Jax, look carefully at everything that is happening around. We definitely have to get into the zero car today. So, okay, car number one. The next car must be car number zero. We need to explore this carriage as thoroughly as possible, otherwise we will end up in the seventh carriage again. I really hope that we can beat this game today. This car looks as normal as possible. It seems to me that there are no anomalies here. It looks exactly the same as all the other cars, so we can move on. Oh my god. Just don't tell me that this is the seventh carriage. Well guys, if you like this game, like this video, and write in the comments that you want us to complete it to the end. We read all your comments and we'll definitely pass it. Now let's move on to the next game. Just look! This is a huge cane! But Kane will finally eat some food other than digital. His gait is as if he is going to the grocery store and not trying to catch up with an escaped criminal. Hey, hello everyone, friends, and today we will escape from the new Pomni's prison. Wow, she looks very beautiful here. Let's see if the locations in this game will be beautiful. I'm very interested in whether they added you to this game this time, or were you still deprived as in the last game? I hope we see him here! Wow, look. There's some kind of secret door here. This is cool because I have never seen this door open. It looks like there are a lot of new interesting innovations waiting for us here. Let's go ahead and see it. This obby looks different from the previous ones. Another secret room! Wow, the developers of this game really did a good job. It's a pity that there is nothing useful in these rooms. Just cubes and barrels. Look, we can't just get into this grate. To do this, we need to take this wrench and... We're inside! Great! Wow, just look at the design. 
They even added curtains here and some kind of wheel of fortune. But unfortunately, it can only be used for Robux. And here is the first boss, Pomni. Just look how much they changed this location. Wow. Wait, is it me, or has she stopped running after us? Um, seriously? It seems to me that she is very irresponsible about her work. Let's go ahead and explore this location. Wait, did they remove this bridge and just make a second floor here that you need to run around? This looks pretty interesting. I really, really like the design of this location. It's very much like the amazing digital circus we live in. I wonder how they changed the room with toilets. Let's go into this vent and find out. I don't think it looks like a room with toilets at all. It looks more like some kind of game room. There's even a trampoline with slides. Cool. Now let's jump straight into this hole and we'll find ourselves in the Obby Dungeon. It's made in the shape of a Gloinka Queen's nest. There are even stars that glow on the walls. That's very beautiful. In real life, this place seems very scary to me, but here it looks really incredibly beautiful. It's strange that there is lava here, because in the real nest of the Gloink Queen, there is none. Yes, it would be very cool if instead of lava, they added an abyss that is teeming with Gloinks. But I think that even so, it looks pretty nice. Well, let's go to the corridor with the rolling boulder. They even added stars here and made the walls white! In fact, I like it better when this room is very bright! And by the way, they also remade the rolling boulder and made it white with red cracks. I really hope that they remade that same boring task with the valves and made it more interesting. But now we will meet the second boss and find out who it is. Yes, I'm also very interested to know who will be in this game as the boss knight. Let's see. Jax, it's you. Just look at this funny skinny Jax. He runs pretty slow. His gait is as if he is going to the grocery store and not trying to catch up with an escaped criminal. Yes. It looks like the creators of this map decided to make fun of you a little and made your gait as goofy as possible. Well, let's now climb up this tower and go to the energy drink race. Is it just me, or did they decide to add these glowing stars to absolutely all locations? But I don't mind it because it really looks very nice. They even added our logo here. Just look at how many paintings there are here. By the way, we also have one very beautiful picture with a character from our amazing digital circus. Guys, pause this video and write in the comments, who do you think is depicted in this picture? I'll give you a little hint. There are two characters in this painting. I hope you wrote the correct answer and the correct answer will appear on the screen in three, two, one, and yes, it's Pomni and Kane. I think this is the best painting of me in the world. By the way, we have now started a race with energy drinks and it has changed a lot. It looks very nice and there are a lot of new platforms here. It seems to me that now this is one of my favorite modes in Roblox because I have never seen such beautiful locations. I completely agree with you. By the way, look, here comes our friend Kane. He was finally added to this game and now he will not be left out. They even changed the location where the stairs need to be installed under the ventilation. They installed it themselves? This is great. I really like the attention to detail in this game. There are a lot of innovations here, but I really still really hope that the task with the valves was at least slightly changed. It seems to me that they didn't change it because this task with the bridge and the fan remained absolutely the same. But here they painted the pipes a different color, and because of this the location looks really more interesting. I'm still very interested in when they will add a bubble to this game, because so far I haven't seen me. Nor the bubble, nor Kofmo here. By the way, yes! I also thought it was quite strange because you really weren't in this game yet. But I really hope that we will definitely meet you. Maybe one of you will be here as the chef's boss. I think we'll find out very soon. Great, we turned on the third valve and now we are going to the ventilation. I'm very glad that we are done with this tedious task. I'm really interested to see how they changed the fan run. I really hope they made the distance between the platforms quite large. I hope they really did it because in previous maps, this challenge was so easy that we didn't even need to jump. I think there's something glowing there. Oh, this is the golden statuette of Ragata. Cool, but unfortunately we can't take it with us. Perhaps this is good because it would be difficult for us to jump with such a heavy statue in our inventory. Oh no, it seems to me that now we will fall straight into the clutches of Pomni. But no, we were lucky. And now we are going straight into the clutches of Kane. And this time we were lucky too. This game made me scared twice. I didn't think you were so shy, but it's very good that we passed this test. Now we need to jump in this wind tunnel. I think you hit the jump button too early. Yes, I was right and we didn't make it. Well, there's nothing wrong with that because we can jump again. Cool. 
Now we go to the boss chef. It looks like Bubble and Gangle are out of luck again, and the role of boss chef is given to Regatta. Unfortunately, yes, but I think I should be sad because we can still meet them further. They changed this location and removed the food display. Well, let's fight against me now. It's actually quite strange to watch people throw food at me. What's even stranger is that you run out of health very quickly in this map. This is only because Jax is a very accurate sniper and constantly hits her in the head. Did you see her fly up and hit her head right on the ceiling? I've never seen such a boss death animation before. It looked extremely funny. It's also quite strange that in this location, instead of sliding down the hill, we were given high speed with which we accelerate. It's pretty funny. And now we only have two tasks left before we see the final boss. By the way, I really hope they changed the colors of the lasers and didn't just leave them red. Yes! I also really like how the lasers in this challenge are different colors. By the way, the walls here are absolutely not decorated at all. They're just blue. But they actually changed the colors of these lasers. Just look at this. They look like lightsabers from Star Wars. All we have to do is fly past the yellow lasers and we will find ourselves in the next test, namely in the bridge test. Cool, let's quickly go to him. I really can't wait to see the final task. By the way, they also added the Wheel of Fortune here. I really wouldn't like to spin it, but unfortunately we don't have Robux. Wait, seriously? Did they remove the bridges here? Okay, let's just jump on these platforms. I think I can already see the final boss. Just look. This is a huge cane. Let's shoot food right into his mouth. In fact, it's strange that we fight against him with food and not some cool gun with shells. But Kane will finally eat some food other than digital. That is why I would really like to be in his place now. I ate digital lasagna yesterday, and it was the worst meal I've ever had in my entire life. I'm actually very upset to hear this because I tried to cook it delicious. By the way, we defeated Kane, and we finally beat this game. Unfortunately, we didn't see me or the bubble here, but nevertheless, this game was very cool. Now let's move on to the next game. Let's arrange a challenge. If Jax beats this game on the first try, you will definitely like and subscribe. If not, we'll dress Jax up in a chicken suit and make him play a gym simulator. And here is the first doll. Let's take a look at her. We also got a Pomni doll. Hello everyone, friends. And today we will again go through Obby Amazing Digital Circus. Wow, Pomni is standing here saying that we need to collect all the secret toys. Well, let's start going through this level. I hope that this obby will be a little more difficult than the previous ones that we went through because the task in the previous obbies was really very easy. There are 85 stages here, and I hope that we can go through all these stages very quickly. Look! Here you need to choose the right path, and Jax chose the right one on the first try. Seriously? Did he manage to do it on the first try? I think he knows more than us in this game. I was also very surprised when I saw this. Looks like Jax really has a talent for beating these games. I think this obby is actually a little more difficult than the ones we played before because there are quite large distances between the platforms. I think it would be impossible to beat this game on a phone. Bubble, I think your voice is a little strange. Don't you think so? Are you sick? No, I just started having some problems with the microphone. I think I need to buy myself a new microphone so that these strange things don't happen to my voice anymore. I already feel that this game will be a little more difficult than the ones we played because there are really more difficult levels, but I hope that I will be able to pass all these tests the first time. Yes, I really hope so too. And by the way, we have already completed more than 10% of this game. It is quite possible that we will be able to complete it completely today. I wonder what awaits us at the end of this game? It is quite possible that we will also be given a lot of boosts here, but unfortunately we are playing this game alone for now, so we won't be able to troll other players here. You remember that my model was there at the very beginning of this game? It is quite possible that here we will be given some interesting secret dolls with which we can do something interesting. I'm actually very interested in what these dolls could be for. I hope these won't just be useless items in our inventory. It seems to me that it will be exactly the same as it was with the doll that we received when we took the cart race in the amazing digital circus. Yes, I definitely remembered. We then received a doll, but I don't remember what character doll it was. Guys, now the shadow of this character will appear on the screen, and you write in the comments, who is this? I hope you answered correctly, and the correct answer will appear on the screen in three, two, one, and yes, you were right, this is Ragatha. I hope the dolls we get here will be a little more useful than the Ragatha doll we got because all she did was squeak. 
I hope that we will find out very soon because we have already completed 21% of this game. That's more than one of five means that we are even closer to the finish line. It seems to me that the tests are becoming more and more difficult every time apart from this, because in this task it is practically impossible to lose. But these yellow platforms are really quite far from each other, which is why you have to concentrate more on the jump. It's really a little more difficult than what we played before, but I think that Jax can handle it without problems, because he is a real professional in passing these games. I'm really surprised that he does it the first time, because it seems to me that if I played this game I would have lost here about 20 times already. This is not at all surprising because it seems to me that you are already too old for these games, and all you can do is play chess, in which you need to sit and think for a very long time. We got here, and here is the first doll. Let's take a look at her. It seems to me that she is as useless as the ones we picked up in the cart race. Wait, seriously? She doesn't even squeak? Is it just lying in our inventory? Okay, this is the most useless reward that could ever be received. Perhaps we can then exchange this doll for something more useful to us. I really hope so, because it really makes no sense. In this test that we just passed, we were told which passages are correct here. This is stupid, because it makes this game even easier. It seems to me that you could pass this test even without hints, like you did in the test in which you had to choose the right board to walk on. But this test is a little more difficult because there are a lot of red stripes that we can accidentally step on, but Jax gets it right the first time anyway. Sometimes I'm really surprised at how much his skill has improved in this game. Dear friends, let's arrange a challenge with you. If Jax beats this game on the first try and without dying even once, then you will definitely like and subscribe to our channel. If not, we'll dress Jax up in a chicken suit and make him play a gym simulator. It seems to me that this is a rather cruel challenge for me, but I am ready to accept it because I am confident in my abilities. I know for sure that I can beat this game on the first try without dying even once. I have never in my life wanted Jax to lose so much because I really want to see this spectacle, but it seems to me that he is quite skilled, and he will really be able to pass all this on the first try. So guys, get your likes ready. Don't rush to conclusions, Kinger. I think it can still happen. This test looks quite difficult, but Jack still managed to pass it on the first try. He never ceases to amaze me. Sometimes it really seems to me that he is using cheats or something like that. It's possible that if there were any competitions for completing the obby in Roblox at speed, Jax could take some kind of prize. I just came up with a brilliant idea! What if we organize a competition among our subscribers, and the first one to complete the obby to the end will receive 10,000 Robux? I think that would be very cool. Guys, be sure to write in the comments if you would like to participate in such a competition. And if this video gets 10,000 likes, we will definitely do something like this. It seems to me that if we organize such a competition, we must definitely ban Jax from participating in it because he will win all the prizes. Our subscribers will be left without Robux. Yes, I completely agree with you because this guy is truly a professional at passing Obby. It seems to me that no one can jump as cool and fast as he does. And by the way, in the meantime, we have already completed more than 70% of this game. There's very little left and Jack still hasn't died once. It seems to me that we definitely won't see him in a chicken suit anymore. Guys, you don't even have to hope because I'm very serious about completing this game as carefully as possible. It seems to me that nothing can stop me from doing this because I don't want to play a gym simulator as much as possible. Are you saying that the gym simulator is the only thing you're afraid of? Doesn't it bother you at all to play it in a chicken suit? Well, it sounds quite strange, but if it motivates you, then there is nothing wrong with it. He's already completed 98% of this game, and he hasn't really crashed yet. I'm very surprised by his skill in completing this game because it really looks quite difficult. There's only one challenge left and we can still see Jax fall down. But it seems to me that this will not happen because he copes with all these obstacles quite skillfully. Here you need to do a lot of jumps, but he manages to do it without falling down. I'm very surprised by this, but I'm very glad that Jax was actually able to do all this without a single death. This is really very cool. Guys, I did it! and I hope I deserve your likes. We also got a Pomni doll, which is also pointless. Well, let's climb these stairs and see what awaits us in the final location. There are a huge number of boosts, such as balls, trains, and accelerations. But unfortunately, we won't be able to use them to stop other players because simply no one plays this game anymore. 
but I really liked this game because it was a really difficult obby, and now let's move on to the next game. Oh no, buddy, sorry. Looks like I pressed the wrong button. So bye-bye. See you at the start. Hello, my friend. Do you mind if I take control? That's great. Well, let's add a little speed to our cart. Good luck, buddy. I hope you make it to the finish. Oh, I think he lost control a little. Hello, please give us a ride to the finish line. It seems to me that this was not the most reliable driver. I think we need to write something to him in the chat so that this guy doesn't interfere with our journey further. Yes, I think these are exactly the very words that he needed to write. Um, seriously. Well, it was a very easy victory over some news. Wait. Hello, everyone, friends, and today we will ride the cart again. This is some kind of fancy trolley ride. Our characters are not here. What will be our final goal? In this game, we have to come straight into the mouth of this huge catnap. Oh, I think this route is much longer than all the previous ones. Uh, we have never played anything similar. Oh, just look! Part of the railway is missing here. Wait, are we about to fall down? I hope not! Let's see! Um... Seriously? Are we simply moving along invisible rails? Well, okay, this is something new and we have never seen anything like this before. In fact, I was already afraid that we would now find ourselves down again and we would have to go through it all again. I think it will take us a lot of time to get to the very top. I think we better not try to change the speed of this cart in any way, because otherwise we might fly down. Wow, we've come a long way already. But there is an even longer road ahead of us. There are a huge number of climbs and various turns. The most important thing is not to change the speed of the cart in any way, so that we don't end up at the bottom. There are even descents in this location. This is very strange, because in all the previous games we played, this did not happen. Look, we're stuck. I think now we need to move back a little, and after that I think we will be able to overcome the obstacle due to which we cannot drive forward. Thank God we were able to move forward because I thought we were stuck here for a long time after we had come a very long way. I hope that we will no longer have such stops, and we will be able to reach the end of this race. Oh my God, this rise seems endless to me, and the worst thing is that there are several of these climbs in this game. Well, we'll have to watch this because the main thing is that our speed of movement does not change. Otherwise, we will find ourselves at the bottom and we will have to go through it all again. Look! There's a guy standing up there. He doesn't move at all. I hope he won't stop us from moving on. Let's stop slightly so that we don't crash into him and he doesn't prevent us from getting to the end. Oh no! Our cart doesn't stop. Well, the main thing is not to go forward because of this. We can go off the rails. I think we need to write something to him in the chat so that this guy doesn't interfere with our journey further. I don't want our passage of this map to end here. Yes, I think these are exactly the very words that he needed to write so that he would stop disturbing us. Looks like this guy is moving back a little. Maybe he will really stop stopping us from playing that game. Well, I think we can move forward a little. Oh no, it looks like he has deceived us after all and is going to go in our direction. But he went off the rails and therefore he will not be able to resist us. Look, he starts to take off. Great, he gives up. We can continue. Looks like he lost control slightly. Um, seriously. Well, it was a very easy victory over some noob. And now we begin our ascent along another spiral. These climbs are too long. I think we can grow old while we climb them and there will be two more of these on our way. Oh my God, we've actually been going through this for 20 minutes. It's good that our editor cut it all up and you see this long journey cut as compactly as possible. Sometimes it really starts to seem to me that we've been driving for an eternity. And the most important thing is that we don't even know what awaits us at the very end of this race. I really hope that the reward he receives will be worth it. It would be cool if we got some boosts with which we can prevent other players from completing this game. I really hope that this is exactly what we get. Otherwise, I don't know why we are going through this game at all. We are already as close as possible, and I really want to increase the speed. But I understand that this cannot be done. Because of this, we could fall down. The main thing is to maintain our previous pace and move forward with it. Your words remind me very much of the words of one of my friends. He also loves high speed very much. Guys, now the shadow of this character will appear on the screen. Pause this video and write in the comments, who is this? I hope you wrote the correct answer. And now we actually find out who it is. And so the correct answer will appear on the screen in three, two, one. And yes, guys, you were right again. It's me. 
Knowing you, I definitely wouldn't be able to say that you're a big fan of high speed, but each of us has our own hidden hobbies. For example, how do I collect plush elephants? Or how does King collect figurines of anime figures? Guys, we've almost arrived at Catnepa's mouth. We only have one more turn to go and we will be there. I'm already impatient because I really want to know what awaits us at the very end. All we have to do is drive along the straight road forward and we will find ourselves at the finish line. Jax, don't be afraid and increase your speed. We definitely won't fall down here. I'm sure there are no hidden obstacles here. And here is the finish. Great, we're inside. Wait, what? Is this a house in the middle of the forest? Seriously? I hope we see something interesting there. Here we can change our skin. Let's choose the Bubba Booba font skin. But no, I think he's not the most handsome. Better we choose the catnap skin. I think this skin is the best of them all. Let's explore this territory some more and see what's there. Great, we found boosts. There is a train, an acceleration spring, and a super jump spring. Cool, I think we should still go into the house and see what is in it. Unfortunately, there is nothing interesting here. There is a room with sleeping places for all smiley critters in which you can turn the lights on and off and you can sleep. Well, I think we should start stopping other players from completing this game. And here is our first victim! Let's get into his cart and increase the speed as much as possible so that he will fly off this track. I think this guy will be very angry. Oh no, buddy, sorry. Looks like I pressed the wrong button, so bye-bye. See you at the start. I think this guy is really, really upset about this because he's come a really long way. Well, let's find a few more victims and help them fall down. And here is our next goal. Well, I think we need to stand on one of these rails for them to crash into us and fall down. Hello, my friend. Do you mind if I take control? That's great. Oh, I think you're driving too slow. Let's add a little speed. We will definitely become faster. What do you think about this? I don't think he minds. Well, let's add a little speed to our cart. Great. This is a completely different matter. Now we will reach the finish line in a matter of seconds. Good luck, buddy. I hope you make it to the finish. Oh. I think he lost control a little. Well, here comes our next new friend. Hello, please give us a ride to the finish line. It seems to me that this was not the most reliable driver. We definitely need to find someone who is a great driver, and I think this guy is perfect for us. I think they all drive too slow. We need to add some speed. Great, now this speed suits us. Well, sorry, buddy, but you're going to spawn again. Here comes Dagged. <laughs> Oh, just look at this funny face of Pomni. She always makes weird faces. We've dealt with one of his hands. Only a few shots left. Great, we killed him. Oh no, he caught hey, us. Hello oh. everyone, friends. And today we will escape from prison, Dage Dago. Seriously, and this giant pot-bellied nugget in a cowboy hat is called Daga Dago. I think this is the strangest name for a nugget. Didn't it bother you at all that this is actually a real nugget who is alive and wears a cowboy hat? It looks pretty stupid, but I was told that there are a lot of interesting obstacles in this map. Let's take a look at them. It seems to me that I already see the first of them. Um, it seems to me that you are slightly from a different game. It was very strange to see a female cop from a women's prison here, but it's good that she didn't stop us from jumping onto the first platform. Let's now meet the first real boss. Here comes Dagadago. I hope they didn't add a lot of speed to him and he won't be able to catch up with us now. Everything here looks very funny and all the walls are yellow. It feels like we're in a package of cheese sauce. I think nuggets and cheese sauce are the best combination in the world. By the way, we got to the second floor and escaped from Dagadago. Now let's run through these pipes and get some ventilation. I'm very interested to see what new things have been added to the toilet room. I really hope that there won't be any associations with cheese sauce because it seems to me that toilet and cheese sauce are the worst combination in the world. Fortunately, the walls here are white, just like in a regular toilet. Just look, it's us. But it seems to me that someone is missing here. Guys, pause this video and carefully look at the characters that are here and write in the comments which character from our amazing digital circus is missing among them. I hope you answered correctly. And the correct answer will appear on the screen in three, two, one, and yes, you were right. It's Kane. To be honest, I would be very upset if I were him because they even put Barry in there, but they forgot about our friend Kane. And I think that this is a very fair price for the fact that in every game where you had to escape from the amazing digital circus, Kane was always the most important cool boss. I think he has enough fame already. By the way, we now find ourselves in a huge dungeon made in the style of the sea. 
Guys, is it just me or have you completely forgotten about me? Actually, that toilet was also missing me. They didn't even add me here. Although I seem to be very close to the marine theme. Buddy, don't worry about it because I think that every bubble in this game is you. Even here where huge waterfalls fall, there are a lot of bubbles below. I believe that all the bubbles are a model of you. Yes, I think these were the most correct words so that the bubble would stop being offended. By the way, this design of the corridor with a large rolling boulder is very unique. I've never seen anything like this. And what will we see now? Oh, this room with the boss knight is also nautical themed. There's even a treasure chest. The main thing, oh no, he caught us. By the way, did you notice that he had a knife in his shoulder? Yes, and I left this knife in it because he decided not to add me to this game. I still think this is very unfair. And even though Zubel says I've already gotten too much attention in other games, I still think I was worthy of a mention here. Okay guys, stop arguing about this. The main thing is that we were able to escape from this Mr. Dagadago. By the way, they even added a Pomni here that peeks out from the wall. This is very nice. Even Jax is here. Looks like he's trying to escape from those bars. But I still think it's really unfair that they didn't add Kane to the installation. By the way, it is even here, but Kane's still nowhere to be found. It looks like the creators of this map really love Pomni. They even added it here. But it seems to me that Kane shouldn't worry because we haven't even completed half of the game yet. And he can appear anywhere. There on the right side, there is again a huge installation of our circus. Let's see, maybe Kane will be there, but no. This time he wasn't there either. Well, let's keep running this energy drink race. I hope we finally find something similar to Kane in this map. We managed to pass this level with ease. Great. Now let's climb up these stairs and see what awaits us ahead. Now we have a test ahead of us in which we need to put the stairs under the ventilation. Let's quickly open this room, take this ladder and put it in place. I saw a few more of our characters in this location. Let's take a look at them. Here are Pomni, me, Ragatha and Kingler. Great! Oh, just look! Behind these bars are the sharks that ate Barry! He deserves it! E, I'm actually still a little confused. Why didn't the author add me anywhere? Even in this ventilation, there is absolutely everything, and even Barry. But I'm not on it. I don't understand why he doesn't love me so much. Don't worry, buddy. I hope that sooner or later we will see you here anyway. In the meantime, let's jump through these pipes and go up to start testing with valves. In general, don't you think it's strange that our characters are in this prison? Because this is a Dage Dago prison. I don't understand at all why the creators of this map did everything in a marine style. How can a chicken nugget and the sea be connected? Maybe in fact, it's not a chicken nugget, but a fish nugget. And that's why everything here is done in this style. But I think this is a pretty stupid theory. It seems to me that you are already really starting to talk about some kind of nonsense. Well, Jax turned all the valves, and now we will run through this ventilation straight to the next ventilation. I really hope that we will pass this map as soon as possible and still meet Kane here. Now what about me, guys? I remind you that I am also nowhere here. Yes, of course there are bubbles in this game, but they don't have the same eyes as mine and cool sharp teeth. Wow! We reach the fan race, and here, in addition to our characters, there are also sharks. Oh my god, it looks very cool. They blocked our path, which is why the passage of this location became even more hardcore. I really liked what we saw. Here and now, let's climb these stairs and take a jump in the wind tunnel. But here again are characters, but there is no bubble or cane. It seems to me that the creators of this map really need to work on adding them here. By the way, here is the cafeteria location, but there is no boss Daga Dago here. Here instead of him is the usual boss cook. Well, let's kill as soon as possible. Well, here comes the bazooka. Let's take it and shoot this boss chef. Jax, the main thing is not to forget that hitting the head does the most damage. This is the best way to kill him as soon as possible. Only a few shots left. Great, we killed him. By the way, I think they only left the boss chef here because this boss chef actually prepared this nugget that became the evil boss, Daga Dago. Wow, there are a lot of our characters here and not two of us are among them. Only two challenges left. To be honest, it seems to me less and less that Kane can appear in this game because the creator of this map disliked him for something. So let's just finally go through the location and meet the final boss.
I'm very interested in what it will look like. And here is the last test before meeting the final boss. Jax, I hope you remember our life hack. It seems to me that it makes much more sense to use just one board. This life hack was suggested to us by our subscribers in the comments. You don't have to take all the boards from above, but just take just one and drag it behind you. And here comes the final boss of Cyber Dage Dago. He has very strange legs. It seems to me that other robots look slightly different. He waves his name so funny. It's probably because he's a nugget and he's not used to using his legs at all. We've dealt with one of his hands. All that's left is to shoot the second one for it to explode. Jax, don't stop. Keep shooting and most importantly, try not to let him shoot you. We finally defeated him. In fact, this boss was quite difficult because he was running after us. Oh, just look at this funny face of Pomni. She always makes weird faces. We completed this game in 518 seconds. It was quite easy, but unfortunately, we didn't see either me or the bubble in this game. I didn't really like this game because of this. So let's move on to the next game. Look, his head is shaped like an Easter egg. Oh, it's Boss Betty. She's wearing a very fun Easter bunny costume. Only a couple of shots left. This Robo Betty really dies very quickly. Hello, everyone, friends, and today we will play Escape from Easter Betty. Hello, everyone, friends. I finally got to play with Jax, and today I will try to overtake him. A lot of time has already passed, and it seems to me that I simply won't have time to catch up with Jax in any of these games. Yes. It seems to me that Jax has already become a real professional in playing these games, but I think you shouldn't compete. Just try to complete this game together. In this game, you still need to look for Easter eggs. We've only found one so far. Let's try to find all ten, and maybe we'll get some kind of bonus for this. Okay, we have extended the platforms, and now let's go through them for ventilation. I remember that we already played this game. Last time it took us quite a long time, but it was not Easter. And last time, Jax played this game alone. Let's try to go through it faster this time than we did last time. Well, now we will meet Betty and we will need to run away from her. Let's quickly run and press that button. This Betty is pretty fast, but I think we can deceive her. Well, here's the button. Now we need to run past her and run through that door. Great, guys. Good job. Great, we managed to do it. Now let's build a tower from these cubes on which we will climb up and climb over this fence. By the way, I'm doesn't waste any time. I'm already a little ahead of Kane. Kane, did you give me a head start? Bro, you probably forgot that we don't compete. We just go through this game together. I'm not trying to overtake you. I just play this game no matter how long it takes. You already at the top. Come on, guys. Jump into this ventilation and run forward. I don't remember what test awaits us ahead. I'm very interested to see this. Here is the exit from the ventilation. It looks like there's a warehouse ahead of us. Yes, this is it. Well, jump on these cabinets and run to the next location. There you will need to jump on all sorts of pipes. Well, let's jump through these pipes to the very top. There we will need to jump over lasers. This is a pretty tough task. Yes, I remember this task. We already completed it last time. Well, I hope it won't take us much time. We just need to jump over those lasers and get to that button to open the door. In fact, this is not as difficult a task as you say it is. You just need to jump over those lasers, press the button, and run through the door. I don't think it will take us much time. Hurry up, Jax. You're already far ahead of Kaney. Maybe you can outrun him even further? Now we need to run down these stairs, with the help of which we will go down and go through the door that just opened. Oh, here we need to jump over this puddle, and then we will find ourselves in a room with another boss. This is the boss cleaner you need to shoot at. Look, his head is shaped like an Easter egg. He looks very funny. He moves very quickly. How did we so quickly kill he? Well, that was a pretty easy boss. Let's go to the next room. Oh, it's Boss Betty. She's wearing a very fun Easter bunny costume. She doesn't look as scary in it as she looked before. Well, I remember this level too. Here we need to go through the ventilation, run through the pipe, and escape from it. This task is quite easy because Betty moves very slowly. It's very good that Betty doesn't know how to jump into the ventilation because it would be very difficult to escape from her through this thin pipe. This task is quite easy because here you have to run from Betty for very little time. The main thing was not to fall down. And now we will run through this ventilation and find ourselves in the next room. Let's break down this grate and find ourselves in the next room. Wow! It's a huge obby with platforms. I remember this task. This is a very big obby. 
It's much more difficult than Barry's prison break. Well, I think that we will be able to cope with it on the first try, because we often practice passing such games. Don't worry, bro. We will definitely be able to pass this obby on the first try. Jax played Barry's prison escape every day, and he is already very good at beating games like this. I wouldn't say that this is a very difficult obby because the most difficult obby is the Tower of Hell. Yes, I also remember how I played Tower of Hell. This is the hardest game in Roblox because there are no saves. You need to complete the entire obby on the first try without falling even once. It seems to me that you need to be the most skilled player in Roblox in order to complete the Tower of Hell. But someday we will definitely do it. Well, we passed this obby and now we are heading through the ventilation to the next location. To be honest, I don't remember what test awaits us. Look, this is the task with bridges. There are a lot of bridges here. They put as many as six pieces, but I remember for sure that we don't need all six bridges. It will be enough to use only one plank to get to the end. By the way, yes! You're right, this is a real life hack! I think that with this method we can complete this game much faster! Hurry up guys, you're already reached the very top! Now we will have a race with fans ahead of us, I remember this task! I really like that they added a fan run to this game because this game really lacks speed. Sometimes it seems that you are going through all these tasks very slowly. But with the help of this task we can speed up and go through it all quite quickly. Well, let's now climb up this wind tunnel and see what task awaits us ahead. It's a shame that there are no lasers in this wind tunnel like in Barry's prison escape. Well, we got to the very top, and now let's go through this door and see what awaits us there. Oh, this is the same task as the energy drink run in Barry's prison escape. Only here, instead of energy drinks, there is milk. By the way, Kane, Jax overtook you. Do you see what a trail of fire is following him? This milk speeded him up a lot. It's very cool that here they added visual effects and acceleration in the form of a trail of fire. By the way, we completed this task quite quickly and without errors. Now we are heading to the exit. I wonder what awaits us ahead. Will this really be the final boss fight? Yes, here we need to kill Easter Robo Betty 9000. By the way, just look how quickly her HP runs out. Last time, we weren't able to kill her as quickly as we did this time. Let's shoot at her non-stop to kill her as quickly as possible. Only a couple of shots left! This Robo Betty really dies very quickly! Well, we were able to defeat her! Cool! We completed this task faster than last time. This is definitely accurate. But unfortunately, we were not able to collect all ten eggs. Well, let's go to this car that will take us straight to the finish line. It's a pity that we weren't able to collect all 10 eggs, but someday we'll definitely return to this game and try to find everything. Now let's move on to the next game. You probably didn't know that Google created several secret games and hid them. So, we found these games today and are going to play them with my friends from our amazing digital circus. But first we'll take a walk to my room. Wait, did you really just call my digital circus yours? I don't remember that I transferred the rights to control it to you. Don't be such a bummer, Kane. Let's better play the first game for today, and the first game for today is Pac-Man. Oh, I remember this game very well. I played this game a lot as a child. I remember that in one of the Walmarts near my house, there was a slot machine with this game. Stop fantasizing, Pomni. We don't remember our childhood almost at all, just like we don't remember what Walmart is. At least we were told to do it according to the script. Stop saying this, Kinger. We're not filming our series right now, and in general, we can tell all our secrets here. And yes, we know what Walmart is. While you were discussing all this nonsense, Jax had already completed more than half of the game. Well done, Jax. Keep up the good work. I really hope you can beat this game today. Yes, he really manages to pass it very easily. He ate almost all the ghosts. It's a shame that these ghosts keep spawning here. But I think that this will not stop Jax from completing this game to the end. To be honest, I'm now trying to beat Pac-Man for the first time in a long time, and I've never managed to win this game. But I hope that now I can do it, because at the moment, I am making pretty good progress. Come on, buddy! All you have to do is eat a few of these strange circles, and all the ghosts are far away from you! Cool! You won! That was great! Now let's move on to the next secret Google game. Wait! Is, is this soccer? Cool! I just love soccer! My favorite team is Barcelona, and I love Lionel Messi very much. It seems to me that if I show Speed heard what you were saying now, he would definitely start barking and break some of his devices. By the way, just look at this game. 
Here you need to save penalties, and Jax has already missed two of them. It seems to me that he just didn't understand the controls a little. Oh look, now he started hitting those balls. Well, this was a test attempt, and now we will replay this game again in order to try to hit as many balls as possible. The main difficulty of this game is that sometimes the balls fly to the bottom of the goal and sometimes to the top. And in order to hit them here, you need to either press the jump button or not press it. But you definitely need to point the mouse where the ball is flying. It seems to me that even in the FIFA simulator, the penalty kick mechanics are much easier than this. Well, in any case, Jaxa is doing pretty well. He has already hit 11 goals and missed only one. I think this will definitely become my favorite secret Google game because this gameplay is really quite interesting. The player's reaction and attentiveness are very important here. By the way, I noticed that the speed of the ball is gradually accelerating and the time to aim the cursor becomes a little less. It makes this game more difficult and more hardcore. You've already scored 23 points on your second try and you're not even going to stop. Well, this is very cool. Oh, looks like you just missed one goal by accident. Well, I do notice that they become much faster and you literally have a second to decide whether you need to jump here or not. Everything here is just like real football. In general, I don't like football at all, but it seems to me that it's very strange that in some countries it is called soccer and in some it is called football. Perhaps it's because we have American football. I can't answer this question for you, but I can say that we are now moving on to the next game. And the next game is Tic-Tac-Toe. It's very strange that they decided to add such a simple game to Google's secret games, but nevertheless, this game is very interesting, despite its simplicity. If someone suddenly doesn't know the rules of this game, then we need to fill in the cells with our symbols so that they line up in a row of three symbols. In this case, we play for the cross. Do you really think that among our viewers there is someone who does not know the rules of this game? It seems to me that even small children know them. By the way, here is our first victory. It was very easy. Jax, do you know any secret tactics? Wow, he actually beat him easily. I remember as a child at school, I played tic-tac-toe with my neighbor at my desk and always lost to him. But Jax manages to defeat this artificial intelligence again and again. Didn't you think that this is happening precisely because I am an artificial intelligence like all of us? Well, let's change the difficulty of our opponent to impossible and try to beat him. Well, let's try to defeat him this time. I hope that this level will not be impossible for you. You did pretty well playing against him last time. Wow, this time it's really noticeable how our opponent is trying to beat us. Well, I think that this is indeed a more difficult opponent than the one we played against before. And therefore, let's admit that a draw this time is a really good result. I think we should try to beat him again. Jax is pretty good at this game. I think he can definitely come up with a strategy with which he can easily beat this artificial intelligence. I saw somewhere that playing for crosses is a win-win strategy with which you can win 100% of the time. But it seems to me that this time Jax will not be able to defeat him because he initially placed his symbols incorrectly. Artificial intelligence takes the lead and earns the first point. Well, I think Jax needs to rack his brain a little to try and win it at least once. My friend, let's think more logically and stop placing your crosses randomly. I think with your advice, you are making it very difficult for him to concentrate and that is why he is unable to beat this artificial intelligence. Maybe you should really be quiet for a bit and let him try to win. It seems to me that this will not help him because his little brain is not capable of winning at least one game of a complex bot in tic-tac-toe. Buddy, try to really think logically for once. Let's stop suffering and finally move on to the next secret Google game. It sounded quite offensive, but I think you're right. And now let's play a secret game of basketball with you. Just look. Here you need to throw the ball into this basket. So that you understand how difficult it is to do this, here you need to press the space button in time for this player to throw the ball into the basket. If the interval between your presses on the space bar is too long or too small, you will definitely miss. This guy is so bad that I think if LeBron James saw this, he would cry and cover his eyes with his hands. Well, the first time we only earned four points, but I think for a first try it was pretty good. Although no, it was just terrible. Let's try to cope at least a second time. But unlike football, I really like basketball, and I'm a huge fan of the Lakers team. I remember that when I went to this team's basketball game as a child, I saw a young Kobe Bryant. I will remember this day for the rest of my life. And all my life, I've been dreaming of seeing Shaquille O'Neal. I'm very interested in whether I'll be taller than at least his knee or not. 
I think this guy is very gigantic. By the way, this time we did it a little better. We earned 10 points. I think Jax has trained quite well. Let's try this game one more time and see how many points Jax can earn. I think I like this game more than all the ones we played because I'm also a huge basketball fan. Because of my height as a child, I was sent to the basketball section and I played it for a very long time until I received a head injury. After this injury, I began to get scared of everything and hide in pillows. Now, I understand why you are so, um, strange. Well, this time we earned a little more, namely 14 points, and now let's move on to the next game. This head that is right next to us is really very huge. Ooh, that was pretty dangerous. Just look at this guy. It's a huge running head with arms and legs. This guy reminds me of Mr. Potato Head. Just look at him hanging out here with that Mr. Triple Head. Just imagine how you wake up in the middle of the night and go to the toilet, turn on the light, and see this head in front of you. In fact, I would really like to chat with the creator of this game because as you may have noticed, I just adore all sorts of psychos. Oh, I think this girl was in a lot of pain. Did you really think that I would fall for this idiotic trick? To find out what's in my room, you need to like and subscribe. Come on, I'm waiting. Well, three, two, one. Jax, you're sick of making jokes like that! Stop doing that! Oh, hello, everyone, friends, and today we will run away from the big head. What? Big head? Seriously? It even sounds strange. We have already played a huge number of modes in Roblox, but escape from the big head is really something unusual. Yes, I was also very surprised when I heard this name, but so far this game is quite interesting to me. Let's see what challenges lie ahead of us. Now, we are in some kind of huge labyrinth and trying not to get caught by these strange big heads. Well, this is quite interesting gameplay. There are a lot of interesting challenges here. Let's climb those red steps and see what lies ahead. Great. I think we just saved, and now we need to run past these three huge heads. Jax copes with this task simply excellent. This head that is right next to us is really very huge. Well, we climbed up those red steps and we saved our progress. It's great. And now let's climb these stairs. Ooh, that was pretty dangerous. It's good that Jax noticed in time that there was a trap. And now we move on to stage number two. The first stage was pretty easy. I managed to pass it the first time. Well, let's now try to maintain the same pace in stage number two. Here, by the way, a huge wooden maze awaits us in which we will also need to escape from large heads. It looks like this stage will be a little more difficult than the previous ones because here we won't be able to jump over these heads from above and all we can do is just run away from them. Great! One more save. We saved our progress again and now let's continue to go through this labyrinth. It seems to me that it would be very difficult to play from a phone. It's good that we play this game using a PC and we can pass all the tests quite easily. It seems to me that if there were no saves here, this game would be impossible to complete on the phone the first time. I don't really like playing games on my phone at all. I find it extremely unusual to use the touch screen to control a character in Roblox. I really like to play on the computer because I played on the computer as a child, and for me it is very easy to control the characters using the keyboard. I completely agree with you. It also seems impossible for me to play games like this with my phone, but it seems to me that our subscribers cope with this perfectly. By the way guys, be sure to write in the comments, what device do you use to play Roblox? I hope you wrote your answer in the comments, and we will definitely read all your comments and find out how many of you play Roblox using your phone and how many of you play Roblox using your PC. I'm wondering if among our subscribers there are people who play Roblox using Xbox or PlayStation. Okay, it's not that important. By the way, we have passed the second stage and now we are in some kind of huge sandy maze. It's cool that the locations here are different at all stages. This is really interesting. Wait, what? Were there two heads? Just look at this guy. It's a huge running head with arms and legs. This guy reminds me of Mr. Potato Head. He really looks like him in some way, but he lacks a mustache. In general, it seems to me that with each stage, our opponents become more and more strange. These heads are constantly transforming. Oh my God, why is this head so fast? Did you see how fast she ran up to us? He even managed to scare me a little. Oh, hello, Mr. Potato Head. Are you here again? This guy really looks very goofy. By the way, he is not alone in this game. There really are a lot of them. Just look at him hanging out here with that Mr. Triple Head. Create this game is really a little crazy, but I mean that in a good way because all these mobs look weird but very cool. 
I really enjoy playing this game because this head is as much goofy as it is creepy. Just imagine how you wake up in the middle of the night and go to the toilet, turn on the light, and see this head in front of you. What will be your next steps? The only thing that comes to my mind is that I would faint or reflexively hit him. It seems to me that there simply cannot be other options for events. I don't even want to try to imagine. This is because as soon as I start doing this, my whole body is covered with goosebumps. I mean, I didn't mean the body. In general, it's difficult to explain, but I think you understand me. It's strange that there are such expressions in your vocabulary, but if I imagined such a situation, it seems to me that I would simply change my comedy mask to a fear mask. This is my honest reaction, but all the unusual incidents that happen around me. By the way, we have already moved to the fourth stage, and here we will again have to travel through some kind of huge brick labyrinth. It's very strange that you weren't surprised by a huge obby with a giant head and several other ordinary heads that were glued together into an incomprehensible figure. In general, this game is quite psychedelic, but nevertheless, it is quite interesting due to the fact that there are a lot of funny challenges and traps. In fact, I would really like to chat with the creator of this game because as you may have noticed, I just adore all sorts of psychos, and it seems to me that this person is a cooler freak than all the participants in our amazing digital circus. It seems to me that you would definitely find a common language with him. <laughs> Oh, another save. Very cool. Now let's go upstairs where this huge glowing green arrow is pointing us. I think I need to go down here. Yes, there was a trap. Well, let's still look where the green arrow is directing us and follow it. She has never deceived us yet, and she always shows us the way. I see the end of this stage. Cool. We easily go through all these stages. So far we've only died once, but I think there's nothing wrong with that because this game is really a little hard at some points. And now, we will need to run away from huge female heads in this giant mirror maze. I am still surprised by how enormous the imagination of the creator of this map is. Just look. There was just a capybara running through there, scattering banana peels all over this maze. Oh, I think this girl was in a lot of pain. Well, I think this game is quite cruel. But nevertheless, it is very funny because it is really very difficult to find a way out of this mirror maze. We constantly run into various dead ends. It's good that there is no ceiling here and we can jump over these heads. Otherwise, it would be impossible to pass this level. Yes, I really like this game too. I really hope that our subscribers like it too and they will write about it in the comments. If this game gets really many views, we will definitely make a sequel to how we play it because this game is really difficult. And we love challenging games. Did you really think that I would fall for this idiotic trick? I took this coin and move on. I immediately realized that this is not the end of this game. Now we need to run across these bridges. By the way, they break all the time. Great! We passed them and now we are saved. Now we need to pass the next test. To do this, we need to run through these strange orange pipes. Let's see what challenges lie ahead of us. Great! Another save. Oh, there are moving lasers and heads that come down on us right from above. Ooh, this task is quite difficult, but it's good that we managed to pass it on the first try. And now we are heading through these doors straight to the next game. Oh, the last door was wrong, but this door will send us straight to the next game.